Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. I have found another free web browsing agent and its name is Proxy 1.0. It is similar to OpenAI operator, but here interesting thing is that you don't have to pay any money. It is completely free to use. It is made by Convergence and here you see that what they have written. Introducing Proxy 1.0, the world's most capable web browsing agent. Here you will give the instruction to this Convergence Proxy 1.0 and it will do the task for you. Here you see that this is the simple interface. Here in this section you will write the task and you will hit the enter and it will do the task within a 1 to 2 minutes. Okay. And I have these three prompts here you see and with these three prompt I will show you that how much capability it has. So it is going to be an interesting video. So stay with me till the end and if you have not subscribed our channel code digit till now please make sure you subscribe this channel. So now let's start the video. Here you see that this is the convergence proxy 1.0. Now let me show you some of the exciting features. So capabilities. So they have written that proxy can seamlessly type scroll and click whilst browsing the web on your behalf means if you have given instruction that go to this amazon.com and type headphone so in that case it will type and it will uh, scroll below to search the products it will do all of these things okay like the open ai operator or i think you have used many of you have uh, used the browser use also okay so this browser use also an web agent but for that a bit of setup is required but here in this convergent proxy 1.0 you don't have to do any setup okay and also it is completely free here you see that manage any software that you uh, can access via web just tell proxy to log in and get started means if you have a slack or if you have this github or this uh, twitter uh, you want this proxy 1.0 that uh, you please uh, like the post uh, like on this post on the twitter okay so in that case it will go to that post uh, that you have given the link okay so it will go to that post and it will do a comment okay and also here you see that automations after completing a task name it and select the time and frequency for it to run and click automate means if you want any task to run daily in that case you can click that automate and it will run on that time daily okay and after that here you see that what are you waiting for it is 100% free to start and this is the link proxy.convergence.ai I have also given the link in the description box so you please click on that link after that you will find this type of interface by the way if you don't have account just make an account by google sign in okay and after that you will find this interface now here they have written that proxy doesn't need to see your sensitive or other highly confidential information means your information will remain secure okay they will not access uh, your information your api key and uh, blah 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 okay and now what i will do here you see that I have these three uh, prompts or task. So I will uh, copy the first task. So first task is search for a round trip, a round trip flight between New York and London uh, leaving March 1, 2025 and uh, returning March to 2025. Select the cheapest option and extract details including price, airline and departure time. Okay. So if I do the manually this task then I have to go the Google flight and there I have to manually put the date and this uh, place and after that click on the search button and then I have to manually find out that uh, the details okay but I don't want that I want this proxy 1.0 uh, to do this task for me okay I have this simple uh, I have written this uh, information in a simple natural language and now I will provide this to proxy 1.0 now if i press enter here you see that within a second it has started writing it has started uh, searching this new york london flight and uh, with a date on this google here you see that my hand is here i am not doing anything and on the left hand side you see that the steps are written input flight details and search for flight and starting on the right hand side it has opened the google flight and it is putting these places and this, it has opened the date picker and it is selecting the date like March 1 here you see and uh, after that it is putting the returning date okay and on the left hand side you see that uh, all of the step by step um, this uh, information they are printing and they are showing that the task okay 
so whenever you will see the uh, completed on the left hand side then you will understand that yes the search got completed okay so now also it is doing all of these things so it is very fast i think because in case of browser use i have used the same prompt and there i used dipseek but it took a lot of time okay so around one to two minutes uh, to find the information or to search it but here you see that uh, within a minute i got this information okay so it is currently also finding the cheapest flight because i have asked it that i want the cheapest flight uh, it has also given me the price like new york to london and back and this is the total price it has given like uh, 416 dollar and uh, also the price breakup and the timing here you see that uh, these uh, five steps that it also has given okay all of these things it has written here you see okay so in this way you can search anything on this uh, proxy 1.0 and you will get the information okay now if you want to run any other task uh, with this task also then in that case you can click on this plus okay so if you click on this plus, uh, plus then um, the previous task also will run in the background when it will be completed you will get the notification email from this proxy 1.0 that also you can do okay now i will go for this next uh, next task so so this is the next task that uh, check seven day weather forecast for the new york city on weather.com and summarize temperature trend and rain chances and any severe weather warnings okay and then suggest how to take action for it so i will copy this and uh, i will paste here so now it will uh, check the weather forecast now if i press enter here you will see that uh, now it is it has started searching now here you see that it has started uh, searching this uh, new york city seven day weather forecast uh, weather.com on this website okay so now i think it will go in this page yeah it has uh, gone in this page and uh, here you see that this 10 day weather forecast and this uh, date also are given today is uh, 23rd february and i am making the video and it has given the information for this uh, 24 25 26 27 also and here you see that i got this message task completed okay so this is the message that you will see task completed now here if you click on this automate task then uh, you will this uh, proxy 1.0 will perform this task uh, for uh, in, in a some day that the, the time that you have given okay so it will ask for that time also now if you click on the automate task that you see that welcome to automation you will find this type of message now if you click on this next and now choose your start time means you have to give the time and click on this next and here you see the set schedule get started and here you see automation name you have to give you have to give the start, start date and time and this uh, time zone that you have to give and create automation if you click on this it, it will run on that day that time okay so for you it will do the task now in the same way i want you to uh, search uh, this prompt and let me know your thought and your answer in the comment section that how you are feeling that this proxy 1.0 is performing well or not okay so this task is actually search for macbook air macbook air m2 on amazon best by walmart and extra the same name price and uh, uh, stock status from the top five results and compare the prices and any discount if it if there is and summarize the best deal and where to buy so i want the summary that uh, go to the first five results and uh, tell me that from um which website i should buy this macbook air uh, m2 so that i can buy it with the cheapest price okay so i want the summary so please search this task on this um, proxy 1.0 and let me know your thought in the comment section 
and if you are visiting this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel guys because here in this video i have already made many exciting videos for you only so please watch these videos also and uh, if you have any question just let me let me know in the comment section so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching